Hello, Flight Simmers. This is Rob Music or Musi. Two pronunciations I go by. Well, without further delay, I'm going to show you how to connect FlightPlan.com to Microsoft Flight Simulator. And to get started, you would like to go to this website right here. If you can see on my cursor, I hope my cursor is on the screen there, which is uh, flight, and that is abbreviated as FLT in the word plan.com, then backslash uh, FSX.html. So you can see it right on the screen here. So you want to go to that website and you want to download the executable file, and it should come up in your download folder. In my case, it was dropped into my program uh, 86 file underneath that location and I ex you know executed the file so I can get started so <clears throat> let me see if I can get a good example of that if I scroll down uh, well, it's not on there right now but so what we're gonna do is uh, here yeah here's a good example right here okay so they went into my uh, my program 86 file and I clicked uh, flight plan GPS I executed a file and installed the software and I run it as an administrator and after I, after I did that then I open up the file and I follow the instructions and so what it's going to do uh, when you bring it up you're going to go into uh, it's going to bring up a, most likely these screens here and when they bring up these screens here, what I would do is just go ahead and automatically just log into your flightplan.com app on your tablet or on your cell phone. It would be a good time to do that. So <clears throat> once you get it up and running on your tablet or cell phone, whatever you're using, Apple or Android, uh, let it continue to run on your on your cell phone or tablet make sure it's running there that's important okay so we're going to go back to your desktop computer and after you get the, the software installed uh, it's going to ask you are you what type of operating system are you using so in my case i was using uh, windows 10 app so i click yes for that and then it came over and says connected to flight uh, connected to flight simulator or FXX in my case and after I had done that uh, the program started to run and you would get this notification connected to flight simulator and then I press the word app and over here I in my system I was running an Android on my phone so I uh, select your type of mobile platform uh, which one do you have so in my case i, I ran uh, android and once again it connected me to the flight simulator uh let's see here then it asked me uh, what type of platform yeah we went through that okay and the android it connected me to the android and basically what you're going to be able to see now on your screen i'm going to bring up a uh, picture of what it looks like on my android device so now on my uh, Android device or tablet, I'm able to see my aircraft on the map and I'm highlighting the weather radar because that's primarily what I wanted to use it for, is to observe real time weather uh, on uh, flightplan.com so I know how to navigate around the weather. And you may want to use it for navigation purposes or any other uh, key track of the weather around you. But on this first bar here, just scroll through the bars and set it up as you wish. And online off online overlays. Um, this is just a picture of my device. But just go through there and, and tweak it the way that you uh, prefer. Now, what I like about this also is that if you have your flight plan on uh, flightplan.com, you got the your route uh, displayed and uh, your route finished and done and ready to fly. You can also put this on, display it on here so you can know where your aircraft is relative to your uh, flight plan route and you can compare what distance you're off course. So that's that's very nice here. And so uh, 
<clears throat> I was navigating Rawson weather back in uh, February. And uh, let's see if I can bring up a uh, another display as I went around the weather here. Um, so, so yeah, so when I got on here, I just went around the weather. And, and what's nice about this is I also use uh, Captain Sim Radar. Uh, and I put a link down in the description detailing that information, Captain Sims Radar, which is a, it's, it's very useful. And also teaches how to, you know, uh, give you some, uh, realistic view of how a airborne radar works. And, uh, but it feeds off of what's in front of your aircraft and Microsoft Flight Simulator. So what I do is I use the, uh, ATC, the weather from flightplan.com on their weather radar. I use there as what ATC will be looking at. And then I would compare it to what I'm looking at in the Weather 500 radar from Captain Sims. And if Captain Sims says I got a uh, a good gap to go around in the weather, I, I'll go ahead and uh, fly through it. But if I know it's thunderstorms, I will not fly through it because, you know, you could run into those thunderstorm clouds with some turbulence or maybe just, in fact, just run into a, 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 a thunderstorm. So in all cases... Um, I use the flightplan.com weather radar to fly around, the, fly around those thunderstorms so I don't get caught up in the middle of a thunderstorm on the flight simulator. Uh, so I'm using this as the, my primary radar to go around those build-up sails uh, that may interfere with my route to my destination. And that's basically it. Once you get it set up, that's uh, how you get it set up and running on uh, connecting flightplan.com to your... Uh, app so that you can see your route and the weather in route and other important information. Uh, I hope this is a helpful video for you. Please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate your watching. And like I said, I hope this is very helpful for you in your flight simulator and especially when you want to navigate around weather during the summertime. Thank you very much and enjoy your flight simming.